So kind of just speaking briefly on last weekend's result against Braintree, I suppose to the gaff of the game, he probably thought that was the worst performance of the season. But having said that, still a good three points in the end. Listen, it's always good to win, whether whether you're at your fluid best or a little bit bitty in the game. Um, always good to get three points. That was the main aim, and obviously we've done that. So we're pleased with that. But in terms of performance-wise, I think, yeah, um, it wasn't a bad performance, but because the performance levels across the previous eight games were so good, it probably was one of our, our worst ones. And listen, that's not just down to us. Obviously, Braintree made it difficult. Uh, they, had a, they, had a, they came on second half and were excellent second half. So... But at the same time, I felt a little bit of complacency within our group, and obviously we've made that uh, the lads aware that we're not obviously weren't content with that. But good three points, and obviously we move on. It's, uh, it was a good, it was a good four or five days for us to pick up six points across last week. So it was important to bounce back after the Gateshead result. I guess that's a sign of a top team then, when you maybe don't have your best there on the pitch, but yet you still get a three-one result. Yeah, of course. But the problem we got is it's the same old story. First half, we sh- we probably should have been three or four up uh, at half time. That wasn't the case, and that always gives teams a little lift. They obviously. They still feel they're in the game. That was the case. They come out first twenty second half and put a better team. So we rolled, didn't re, ro, uh, didn't ride our luck so much in terms of we didn't have a lot of chances. But Hayes had a couple of bits to do and he was really assured in what he had to do. So we're pleased with his performance. But in terms of obviously putting the game to bed, it's been the same story for a majority of games, obviously excluding Tamworth. Jermaine Francis and Finley Wilkinson have joined Braintree on loan until the end of January. What are you hoping they can achieve out there? It'll be excellent for them. Obviously, we saw what it done for Grimwood. He went, he um, went and played, and we we always advise the lads. The younger lads, especially that, that need to adjust to full time and adjust to this level to go and get minutes if they're not getting them here. So, Grimwood done that and it stood him in good stead. He come back and he was obviously excellent against Altrim and done well again against Braintree on on Saturday. So, it's be great for the lads. It'd be good for obviously Wilco's come from step three, so it's a big jump. So for him to go and play his trade at this level, it's important that he can get as many games under his belt as he can. And they'll both be excellent assets. Jermaine obviously done unbelievable last year in the league below him. He's a, he's a good player. Um, they're both unlucky to not play more minutes for us, but it just shows the strength of the lads and the, the quality of the group that we've got. So it'd be good for them both to get minutes, and it's uh, two good signs for Ranger. I think they're doing an excellent job for them. In terms of injury updates ahead of this weekend, could we see anyone return potentially? Obviously, we've seen we've seen Brownie get some minutes in the last couple of games, so it's good to have him back. We've obviously just the problem is we've got to build him up. Um, it's hard, it's hard to obviously chuck him straight in, so we're building his minutes up. Uh, Kabamba's trained this week, so we'll see how close he's, whether he'll be involved or not, it'll be a different story, but he's trained a little bit, so he's on the horizon, he'll be back soon. And Other than that, it's, it's pretty it's pretty same as, obviously, what I, I touched on Reece Hall Johnson last week in terms of the extent of his injury, which we're, we're obviously good for him and good for the group because he's a big player for us. So Same as, this is what we're trying to get lads back, but they're probably the ones that I touched on in terms of being close to coming back and maybe featuring the next week or so. Saturday's opponents have had a, a difficult start to the season. I think that's fair to say, but as we've seen so far, you know this year anyone could beat anyone. To be fair to them, they're they're probably um, a little bit worse off than they probably deserve to be. They've um, they've been in every game. Uh, they, they've gone away to Forest Green last Saturday and got an unbelievable result. Obviously, draw two. All we know a good Forest Green now, so great result for them. And obviously, come for late goals, so that will that will boost them a little bit with their confidence. But to be honest. All the games have been very 50-50 in terms of chances against them for us, so there's not like they've been getting brushed aside. They've been in a lot of games, and we know how tough a place it is to go. Obviously, you've got the hill, um, hostile environment, tight pitch, so we know how tough it is to go there. It's not an easy game. There's no easy game in this league, and I think, as I said, they're probably a few points worse off than they should be because, they've, um, as I said, every game they've had has been relatively tight. Yeah, and obviously tomorrow we've got a fair amount of fans travelling down as well with the game live on TV. How are you, get, are you to put on a show for them? Listen, we know how important it is for the fan bases for of both clubs, both fans. Obviously, both sets of fans are so keen to get a result in this fixture, and that message has been relayed to the group. So we all know what it means, especially myself, Dean, Skip, Kirk, Billy, Tavs, Brownie, all the lads that have been at Willstone uh, prior. We all know what it means of the uh, the rivalry, t- rivalry between both clubs. So they've been made aware of that, and we'll go down there. We've got a game plan. But the problem is, you can't get caught up in the moment in derby games and big games. You you got to play with your head. Um, and just stick to the game plan and we'll go and do that and hopefully pick up three points for the fans. Thanks for your time, Cheers, guys.